Hello and welcome to our next reflection on the Catechism of the Catholic Church. In previous sessions we talked about the dignity that each human being possesses that flows from the fact that we are all created by God. Today we talk about uh, this individual human being in relationship with other human beings. We're talking about living in society. What is our role? How do we uh, make our way together to the Lord? It's important to note that as each of us makes their own individual journey, we are not doing that journey in isolation from one another. We live in a particular society, uh, and so we are in a relationship with other people, including those who don't share our beliefs, who think about life totally differently. And so it's important to, for us to reflect on society as a whole uh, from our Catholic understanding. And so we are all called to the same end. That's the basic understanding for us as Catholics. And that end is a life of communion with God, with the Holy Trinity. And today we celebrated that solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, a model uh, for any society, for any community of what life can look like of what is possible for us to achieve with the grace of God. And so society is a group of people uh, that is bound together by a principle of unity. There is something that brings those people together uh, that goes beyond each individual. Something great uh, in the church for us, the bond, the principle of unity is the spirit. It is the Holy Spirit who brings us together each week, for example, uh, to celebrate the Eucharist. And so a community is defined by its purpose. Our purpose is to worship God. Our purpose is uh, to become a living image, to become the face of God for others. And each community as a result of its specific unique purpose, will have its specific rules to abide by. Without it, the society, the community, cannot function. And the same applies to the community of the Church. And so the society has to respect a just hierarchy of values. What is the value that we live by? What are the values? Uh, what are the most important ones? What are the most fundamental ones for us? Uh, because when we live by those values, they not just contribute to our good, but to our common good as a society. Uh, and all of them need to tend towards the interior, the spiritual values that are the most important. Because we're talking about the divine life that we are called to share. Uh, and so our strive, our direction in this life uh, is to maintain that divine life within us, to live according to it, to nourish it uh, and to strengthen it, essentially to look after this gift that is offered to us by God. Uh, and so for a society to flourish, uh, two things are essential and that is the understanding of conversion and charity. Uh, there is a very thin line between cowardice, which gives in to evil in our society, which means we stay silent when evil is committed, and on the other side, violence, uh, which under the illusion uh, of fighting evil, creeps in and causes more evil in the process. We cannot fight evil with evil. We cannot fight evil with violence. Uh, and so the road of the gospel is the road of charity, which finds that narrow path uh, between, on the one hand, cowardice or indifference, and on the other, between violence and giving way to hatred and anger. Uh, and so we need charity, we need conversion. We need to understand uh, that 
our own individual conversion has an impact on those around me. And so I as an individual contribute uh, to the society in which I live uh, by my own uh, journey of conversion and by my own life of charity. Uh, for society to flourish and to function, uh, we need authority. Uh, and we need to have respect and we have a duty of obedience to those in positions of authority. Uh, so we need to give them due honor, those people who are assigned for us, whether it's the government or religious leaders or uh, parents uh, in the families, uh, to give due honor to those in positions of authority who are there, who are meant to be there for the common good, for the service of others. Uh, and that's the important part to remember. Uh, authority can only be exercised legitimately uh, when it seeks the common good of all people. So what do we mean by this common good? Well, the Catechism reminds us of three essential points that make up the common good. The first one is that it presupposes respect for the person as such the person, remember, the one that has this dignity God given to them <clears throat> at the moment of birth, at the moment of conception, uh, is what we have to treasure at most. They are the most important part uh, of society. And so we need to have that deep respect uh, for each human being. And sometimes our values, as I mentioned, uh, take over. And the person is not at the center uh, of what society is about. Other things sometimes take over, become more important than the individual. The common good requires a social well-being and development of the group itself. Uh, and for that to flourish, we need a sense of justice. Uh, we need a sense of collaboration. Uh, we need a sense of solidar solidarity with one another. Uh, we know how easily that can be uh, taken away and disrupted. And the third point the, about the common good is the need for peace, for stability and security. It's important for us to recognize, ask ourselves, what is my role in the midst of this? Especially as on the news these days we see all the protests coming up uh, with regards to what happened in the United States. Uh, people who are demanding justice, demanding more equality, uh, demanding those things that the Church is teaching us, fundamental respect for another human being. Because a just society respects the human person. It remembers that we are all equal. We are all brothers and sisters. Uh, and that is the only basis for justice in our society. If we can start looking at one another, as the Catechism reminds us, as brothers and sisters, that this person is my neighbor and there is no qualification remember Jesus's answer who is my neighbor there is no exclusion in that definition and that demands conversion that demands uh, growing in holiness that demands real change from each of us uh, because there will be times when we will realize we are not equal. We don't see each other as equal. And some of those inequalities and differences are there uh, given to us by God. And so the distribution of gifts uh, is not equal. Some people are more gifted than others. Some find themselves in this situation and the others in a different one. Uh, but that in itself, as the Catechism reminds us, is a way of the Lord helping us to practice charity, 
help us to practice generosity, kindness, and to realize that if I am gifted, these gifts are not just for myself, I'm here to share them with my brothers and sisters. It's not a position of looking down on somebody else who hasn't got the gifts. It's realization that we need one another. Because as gifted as I may be with certain gifts, I don't have all of them. I rely on other things from other people. I rely on their gifts in turn. Uh, and so we are all interdependent. Uh, we are here, as I mentioned at the beginning, to support one another in this journey of life. Uh, and so it's important, uh, but also to recognize that there are other inequalities that are just sinful. Uh, various uh, nations, various regimes, uh, various understanding, various uh, uh, systems in place in our societies uh, that are just totally against the values of the gospel that we believe in. And so they cannot fulfill their mission uh, of leading people, leading their nations or their groups, and achieving the common good of all. And so we pray for one another for that gift of continuous conversion, uh, the gift and the ability of seeing one another as a brother, as a sister, as a real neighbor, as somebody that I can enrich but as somebody that can be enriched by those around me as well. And so our role in society is important. Uh, it's important for us to be watchful, uh, to always look for the need for conversion, to be open to it, uh, to allow ourselves to be challenged when things are not set up in the right place, when things can be improved, uh, because as long as people and the whole group see that we are open to that, uh, we live in justice. We live in solidarity with one another. And so it's important for us uh, not just to name those things, but to be seen as doing uh, the real change that is necessary for each of us. So let's pray for one another uh, that we may be a positive contribution to the society, to the group to which we belong, to which we find ourselves in, uh, and to be mindful that our own personal good, our own conversion, our own commitment to the gospel does have an enormous impact uh, on the others in the group and in the wider society in which I live. God bless.